What's going on everyone? Today is May 15, 2023. Let's get started. Was I wrong about Pepe? I'm zooming in the chart right now and I want you all to see this. Was I wrong? Off of the price chart? Off of my price prediction? Yes. But first, don't forget, if you go back and see my prior video, which was produced on May the 12th, a couple of days ago, three days ago, I told you that there is a risk of us seeing Pepe bounce off of this trend line and go higher. And immediately, like when after I did the video, that is when the market in Pepe actually went up higher. You guys can see it's right here. So let me zoom in. So we came down maybe like 120 points, 115 points. And look at this bar right here. This is precisely to where the market in Pepe bounced off of my trend line, right there. So if you guys would have saw that, that would have been your entry. That would have been the point to where you came in and bought the market in Pepe and you could have been massively profitable today because price has gone up. You're still in profit today if you did that. So even though I acknowledged that Pepe could bounce off of this trend line, which I've created, I didn't drop that on the price prediction though. I was still playing the movement to the downside. So yeah, in that sense, it was incorrect and it happens. So let's talk about the market now in Pepe. Do you still think the market is bullish or do you think we're going to come back down and test that trend line again? Because if we are, then maybe I don't need to get rid of my price prediction. Maybe I could hold on to it a little while longer and let the market come back down to me, to this prediction, to this forecast. Because if you were to get out the market now in Pepe, we'll be down about 37% right now. So let's take a look at the market in Pepe real quick. Uh, here it is on the two day chart, because there's one thing I wanted to show you that I didn't like in terms of price continue to go higher. So let me show you right here. OK, this is where the market should have continued. The trend higher. OK, and this area right here has shown itself as resistance right here. So if you're still looking for Pepe to continue to go higher, we need to see the reason why price could not trade above 210 points. We got to figure that out. And the only reason why price did not trade that high on this last move higher is because sellers are still here, just like they were here at this particular moment in time. This is where the sellers were then. And you guys can see the result. OK, price came down and you're looking at the market now. The last time we came up here on the 30, 13th of May, the sellers are still positioned there. That is why price is going down now. OK. So now. Should you be bullish into the market in Pepe or should we look for the price to come back down to this trend? For me, I'm looking for the price to come back down to this trend line because this last rejection point right there around 210 points lets me know that the market is not that bullish. Now, we're just me meandering. We're just wandering and drifting lower. So it's not like the market is trying to crash or plummet, but we're still drifting and the drift currently is to the downside. This could be a possible area, though, OK, of us seeing the buyers again right there around 160 points for Pepe. So what I'm going to do, I am going to clean up this chart because these lines are getting confusing and I am not about the confusion. So let's go ahead and straighten this up. We're just going to focus in on this trend line. OK, ultimately, we understand that this is where price needs to hold in order for us to know the trend. So far, price is holding the trend, so we need to lend more towards price going higher. OK, so we're going to hold that. We're going to continue to be bullish into the market in Pepe, but just within this bullishness, we need to allow price to come down just a little bit more now. Take a look. These areas to where price touch is areas that we need to be paying attention to. So again, just like I see the market low here on May the 8th, that could be support too. Because we're seeing it. The market broke out and came up above 155 points right here on May the 12th. We came back down on May the 13th and touched that same level. 
we're here again today. The market is testing to see whether or not the buyers are going to come in around 155. I can see that. And if that's going to be the case, then we're not going to see the price come down to the trend. OK, so here it is on the three day chart. OK, we have 13 hours and 11 minutes left. If I see the market close lower than the previous three days, like where it is now or even lower to the low of the three day price bar, then I will have to still be bullish and look for price to continue to drift and it's lower. OK, here it is on the five. So the particular market in Pepe is weak, but it's not that weak, though. So I really want you all to really understand what I'm trying to say. It's weak, but it's not extremely weak as of this point. So let's just see how low price is going to go in Pepe. Let's see if it's going to hit 155 or if it's going to come back down to this trend line. OK. And from that point, I will either continue to let this prediction go. I mean, let this prediction continue to go forward and look for the market to come all the way back down to 90 points or we're going to let it go once it comes down to this trend line and we see buyers step in hit that trend line and then market go higher either or one of those two scenarios okay go ahead and give me your thoughts now make sure you maintain profitability and as always trade different